Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to Shashingo. Learn Japanese with photography. This game is exactly what I just said. Teaches you Japanese vocabulary by having you wander around a place taking photos. It's a great idea and I'd love more people to see it and know about it. So, new game. It's a delightful idea. Welcome to Shashingo. Here you'll use your camera to create unique photo flashcards for learning Japanese. You are free to explore your surroundings and study at your own pace without any pressure. Besides learning new vocabulary with your camera, you'll also come across Japanese text in various places while exploring. Interacting with the text will allow you to view the original Japanese text along with the translation. Let's open up your camera when you're ready so we can learn how to use it. Okay. So here we are. Lovely simple aesthetic for this, I love it a lot. But, all right, camera, left trigger. Operating the camera is easy and there are only a few buttons to remember. To take a photo, simply frame your subject by adjusting your position, angle, and zoom, and then press the shutter button when you're ready. For more creative results, you can swap between the filters that you have currently unlocked. It looks like your cameras already come with a grayscale filter and a saturated filter, so give them a try. While not mandatory, holding the shutter button allows you to lock onto the subject so that you can adjust the composition even more freely. Releasing the shutter button will then take the picture. Your subject needs to fill a good portion of the frame to be recognized by the camera. As long as the viewfinder displays a question marks or a Japanese word, you can freely take a photo. Try to use the zoom to fill the frame. Okay. So, let's find something. Well, there's a thing kind of flashing there. Let's... I'm guessing this is building. Let's try... Photo. Game center. Ooh, an arcade. Neat, okay. You just made your first photo flashcard. As you can see, the subject of the photo is written on it in Japanese along with the translation. Flipping it over will also reveal additional related vocabulary. If you like, you can even swap the photo's border to a different design or just keep the classic look. More of these can be unlocked later by mastering specific words. If you take a bad photo, you can discard it and try again until you take one you're happy with. Taking a photo of a word you already have in your photo album will instead give you the option to overwrite it or discard it. Lovely. Well, this is a fine start. Let's uh, see the other side here. Ah, several new words like noisy and fun and to play. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can hear each of these words spoken, which is nice. Urusai. Or fun. Tanoshi. Or to play. Asobu. I love that in addition to the English translation, it is also showing, if the word involves a kanji, it is also showing you the hiragana, uh, <laughs> hiragana, characters showing you how to pronounce it properly. It's really nice. To clarify up front, I do not know Japanese. I, ooh, raining. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I had like a couple semesters of it back in college. I did not learn enough of it to qualify for any level of <laughs> fluency, and I've forgotten basically everything I knew. I would love to learn it though. And this seems like a great tool to add to the arsenal if you are trying to uh, learn the language. Certainly not a uh, one-size-fits-all, like, you're not going to be able to just learn Japanese by playing this game, but it's a useful tool. Let's take another photo of something. Um, maybe the stoplight. Uh, ha! There we go. Pretty good. Traffic light. Shingoki. 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 Also has like to wait, to go, or traffic congestion. Nice. You can change the border. Love the options here. And we'll save it. Okay. Your photo album contains all the photo flashcards that you make, allowing you to browse and study your vocabulary collection at any time. As you master words, they'll also receive star stickers. Heart stickers can be attached to your favorite photo flashcards, so they are neatly separated from the rest under the Favorites tab. You can also remove the stickers to unfavorite them. Your photo album also contains multiple pages of Japanese lessons that feature dialogues, vocabulary lists, and grammar notes for additional learning. It is recommended to use multiple sources besides Shashingo to learn Japanese proficiently. So if we open up our little thing, yeah, there's our 
Traffic light. I don't think I saved the other one, but that's fine. There's our traffic light. Uh. <laughs> Wonder what these tabs are for. Don't know yet. But if we go further down. Oh, yeah. Here's like the full hiragana and katakana alphabets. Well, mostly full. There are some of the additions. And even more of them. <laughs> It's a really cool resource to have. Oh, time of day even. Love it. What was that? I want to see the last tab down here. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Here are some of the little lessons. Like, greetings for different time of day. Good morning. When saying good morning in Japanese, it is important to decide if you need to speak politely with someone. In the case of speaking to a superior, you will likely say, uh... <laughs> hang on. Can I get it to... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. However, if you are casually speaking to your friends, you can use this other one, which is somewhere, I assume. Maybe. I guess it's just the Ohio part. This is similar to using the shortened greeting, morning, in casual English. That's cool. Oyasuminasai. Expressing thanks. Days of the week. Kanji for days, days of the week. Like, this is cool. Like, they're... It, is, it seems to be focusing on the kinds of words and vocab you might need if you are just going to Japan and either being a tourist or trying to learn like the basics to get by kind of as a starting point. Which is a great idea. Let's see, what else should we take a photo of? Um, what do we got here? Karaoke. Karaoke. Love it. With other words like to sing or to laugh and happy. If we keep adding to our little uh, journal here, I wonder. So if I hit right trigger on this now, I can pull it up. And these are our little flashcards. That's nice. I've heard that there's like ways you can sort of like go back and review or like develop a level of like quote unquote mastery over some of this vocabulary a bit and I'm curious as to how that works uh this I would guess is a theater Eigakan. movie theater there we go Eigakan. to watch to go on a date impact It's really cool. So I'm doing this with like buildings and signage a bunch. Like what other sorts of things? Like surely like a car is an option as well. Kuruma. Yeah. Just slowly adding to our little collection. Here we go, okay. Find mode puts your memory to the test to reinforce your vocabulary knowledge. You'll be given one of the Japanese words from your photo flashcards and tasked with photographing it in the game world. Several options are available to adjust for each session of find mode. For example, you can make the test reading or listening only, or swap the word set from the recommended focused to something like oldest or random. A correct guess in find mode will award you a coin and reinforce your mastery of that word. When a word reaches a higher mastery level for the first time, you'll be given bonus coins, too. Once you've collected 30 coins, you can use them at various gachapon machines to buy a new random filter. Luckily, you'll never receive a duplicate. This is a great idea. Like, back in the extra credits days, like, one of the early kinds of topics that we made several videos about was about, like, the concept of gamification, right? Like, education is very hard to sometimes make your brain pay attention to. Like, you can want to know a thing very badly, but it can be very hard to maintain focus or to feel motivated to learn a thing or to pay attention in a class or uh, reading a book or whatever else. And gamifying a thing tends to be like a great way to make it a little bit more enticing. And if you can design that gamification approach in a way that actually does manage to teach the information and in a way where the uh, player slash student is like incentivized to retain it, 
it can be a very helpful way to get them motivated to actually pay attention to the thing and learn the thing. And so finding little ways to uh, gamify various aspects of education, especially with something big and daunting like learning another language, is really useful, even if it's just a small subset, like if it's just going to teach a handful of vocabulary words around a specific setting, or give you some flashcards to try to memorize some of this vocabulary to supplement all of the other like uh, resources you're using to study that language. I think that's a great idea. Apparently this game started out as just a university thesis project that uh, then just got a really positive response and then people... <laughs> and then uh, the creator decided, all right, well, let's do a Kickstarter and make an actual proper thing out of this. I don't know how large it is. It's very possible that this game only takes place in just this one little block of the town. I, have, I haven't tried to explore around a whole lot. I guess I can try to wander around. See where all we can go. Not that way. Can we go inside things? Huh. What does this say? We've also got filters. Okay, hang on. This one doesn't count. Maybe the building at large does. Ooh. Or the sign. Kanban. Kanban. A signboard. To read. Big or large. Name. That's really cool. I I'm wondering if there's a way to... Like, they mentioned that there... W I thought that there was a way to, like, get the text on anything translated. Trying to figure out how to do that now. Hmm. It's pressing buttons to see what happens. Let's try find mode, why not? Actually, here, let's let's try to actually internalize a little bit of the information, the few things that we've actually learned for ourselves here. <laughs> I've taken, I've saved like three photos. This should be manageable. <laughs> so, okay. And honestly, this is not a bad way to uh, probably help with uh, internalizing this stuff is to not go around just taking tons of photos willy-nilly. Like maybe go, like each little session you play, just learn like six to ten new things. Take six to ten new photos and test yourself on them. And then slowly expand your vocab, finding new things to take photos of. But giving yourself a chance to, like, actually learn some of the ones you're taking photos of as you go. So we've got... Okay. Traffic light. Shingoki. Shingoki. Okay. That is a lot of kanji, though. That one's going to be harder to... <laughs> That one's going to be harder to internalize. Kanji is the hard part. There's some things about Japanese as a language that seem relatively easy compared to other languages. Like the... the... phonetics of it are, like, really consistent. It's not like English where you can have... or in lots of languages, I assume, where you can have words like rough, cough, and dough, which are only one letter off, like, in the spelling of each of those words, but <laughs> the rest of the letters, which are the same letters, are pronounced in completely different ways, which is nonsense. Japanese is very consistent with that. It's just other parts that are hard. <laughs> but okay, car. Kuruma. Kuruma. Okay. Kuruma. So we have kuruma. Kareo, kareo, ko, ah, bleh. What am I even... How am I getting that one so bad? Karaoke. Karaoke. Thank you. Shingoki. Shingoki, karaoke, and kuruma. All right. These are three words. I believe in us. Word set. Focus. Sure. Reading and listening. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's start. Shingoki. Shingoki. Okay. If you are practicing reading and listening, or just listening, you can listen to the audio again as many times as you want before taking your guess. So take your time. Just don't be afraid to make mistakes, as that's just part of learning a language. If you're really struggling with a word, you can press the skip button to come back to it later, or hold the skip button and skip it entirely. Okay. 
This one, I remember. Shingoki. It's a traffic light. Where is one? Here we go. Loving the music as well is just really pleasant. Uh, okay. Yes. Karaoke. Ha -ha. All right. Karaoke is next. Where was that? There it is. Okay. Cars, can I... You know what? This is fine. Yeah. Okay, cars, now is your time to shine. Yeah. Success. 100%. Nailed it. We got some coins. Quiz mode allows you to study the additional vocabulary from the back of each of your photo flashcards through answering multiple choice quizzes. There are also multiple options for each session, just like find mode. If you've selected your answers, you can submit them for marking. If all your answers on a page are correct, you'll earn a coin. Any incorrect answers will be replaced with the correct answer you, so you can study them. Cool. Okay, let's um review, because I've not actually looked at those. So that's nine more words. So even just taking photos of three things will give you lots of words to work on. So flipping over. We have to wait. All right, uh, let's see. Matsu. Matsu. We have to go. Iku. Iku. And traffic congestion, which is much more complicated. <laughs> Jutai. Jutai. Okay. Boy, I wish I remembered even the tiny, tiny, tiny amount of Japanese I had learned back in the day. That would speed a lot of this up. <laughs> so, okay. We have Matsu, Iku, and what's it? Uh, Shutai? Jutai. Okay. It's more like Jutai, I think. Yeah. Um... Okay. Matsu, Iku, Jutai. So in this one... Oh, it's nice. You can just flip it over right here. I don't even have to pull it up. Uh, we have to sing. Utau. Utau. We have to laugh. Warau. Can I say that one again? Warau. Warau. And we have happy. Ureshi. Ureshi. I think I extended that too long. Ureshi. There's an important difference between vowels which are like short or like extended. In fact, I think that she is supposed to be held a little longer there, like ureshi. I think, if I'm reading that right. Again, don't listen to me. I don't know Japanese. But I'm learning. To drive. Unten suru. Unten suru. Uh, fast. Hayai. Hayai. And slow. Osoi. Osoi. Okay. So we have nine words here that we have to try to internalize a bit. Matsu. Iku. Uh, jutai. Uh, let's see. Utau. Warau. I'm amazed I'm remembering this much. <laughs> uh... Shoot, what was that one? Ureshi. Ureshi, right. It's the one I said the most times. Still forgot it. Ureshi. Uh, to drive. Unten suru. Unten suru. Uh, hayai. Hayai. And... Osoi. Osoi. Well, I feel a little bit less confident on this one, but we're going to see how we do, huh? Okay. There we go. Quiz mode. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. Quiz amount. Three. Sure. I don't know if that means the three cards or the three words, but what whatever, we'll figure it out. Start. Okay. Oh, I gotta type it in. Hang on, hang on, where's my where's my keyboard? Hang on. That makes sense. I wasn't prepared. Uh okay. Ureshi, which is, is I think happy. Ureshi. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, never mind. I didn't need my keyboard. I was wrong. Never mind. Go away, keyboard. Okay, that one's happy. Uh, Utau. 
which is, I think, to sing. Uh, maybe. And... Wado. Wado, which might be to laugh. Ugh. I don't know 100% if I'm right on that one, but I'm going to say... I feel like these two are the ones that I might be getting wrong. Well, let's see. Hey! Excellent. Next. All right. For car, Kuruma. We have Oroi, which is, I think, slow. We have Untensuru, which is to drive. And we have Hayai, which is fast. Okay. It's comforting to know that even though I have forgotten most everything that I did learn of Japanese, that, like, fragments of it exist still in my brain somewhere, which is, I think, giving me a very big... <laughs> giving me a very big edge here in just barely remembering what some of these hiragana are. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. So, for traffic light here... Uh, which I've forgotten how to say. Ungoki? I don't think that's right. Close enough, though. Uh, this, let's see. Um, Iku, which is to go. Matsu, which is to wait. And... Jutai? Or Jutsutai? It's traffic congestion, however you say it. Jutai. Jutai. I was almost, I was almost there. Hey. It's such a good idea. Keep on exploring and making unique photo flashcards to study with. Just don't forget to return to find mode and quiz mode when you want to practice what you've learned and earn some coins to spend on new filters. Ganbatte. Or do your best. It's such a great idea. I, I want this... I want dozens of these to exist for every language. They don't even have to be big. Again, this, this game might be exclusively, like, just this little block here that you can run around <laughs> full of things to take photos of. And then just, just the contents of this block are all that you're going to learn of Japanese from this game. Ooh. It has some, like, alleys and such. I love it. But yeah, like, that's still... That's still a lot you can learn. And a lot more that you can explore than I realized. Oh. Hit our limit. Still, though. What's this one? Eh. Hang on. Can't quite. Can't quite. Hmm. Maybe at ground level. Hmm. This one had a question mark. How do I? I think I'm in the middle of the road right now, which is not... Good photography practice. I don't think. Hang on, now I'm curious. What was I getting a question mark for? Yeah, see? That. How do I? Oh, okay, 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 I get it now. I, I was wondering. So, yeah, if you see a little question mark like that, you can just hit, without pulling up the camera, you can just hit the photo taking right trigger to get a uh, translation. So, Smile Street. Cool. That's great. I love that. But yeah, like... If you're trying to learn Japanese, you no doubt have several resources you are using trying to do so. Either from, like, little tools like Rosetta Stone, or maybe even just textbooks going to school, watching anime, reading manga, or like, whatever tool it is that is helping you learn, and probably it's a combination of them. 
I feel like this is an excellent one to add to that arsenal. I want more stuff like this to exist, which is why I want to celebrate that this exists. Because it's awesome. So good on you, creator of this thing. And if any of you want to learn Japanese, maybe go, like, grab this one. Add some flashcards to your little learning routine. And hey, if you want, like, the, uh, in here we got our little library of hiragana and katakana, which, this is a lot to learn. Like, hiragana and katakana are way easier to learn than all the kanji. <laughs> like, way easier. There's a reason they start you out learning these first. But, uh, like, if you, you can get by if you can just learn these to start as a new learner. And if you're wanting to learn these, I have another app that I have tried using before uh, to learn it called Renshu. I'll link to it down below. It's a phone app and I think a thing on the desktop too. It's free and it's a great little way to kind of like a similar gamified thing where you can quiz yourself learning these things. And I love that tools like this exist. Honestly, if you know any other great tools or if you're someone who has learned Japanese or is in the middle of learning it, Share which tools and resources you've found the most useful, whether that's, like, books or uh, stuff like Duolingo or uh, Rosetta Stone or gone to school for it. Like, whatever, whatever you have found has helped you learn at whatever level you're at. Share it. I'd love to know it. I think this stuff is awesome. But yeah, that's Shashingo. I hope you have enjoyed. Go pick it up. And thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for dying a whole bunch more in Elden Ring, which is a very, very tonally different thing, but also good. See you tomorrow for that. Bye!